Morning everyone. Welcome back on the farm. So make it a little bit different for you today. Me and Toon are catching wild bachon fingerlings, the babies. So we saw a shoal of them the last few days and currently making their way through the morning glory there. We've only been going at it about five minutes. That's what we've got so far. Doesn't look a lot, but very, very rarely. Well, I don't think I've ever, ever seen the, the babies for sale around here. So catch them yourselves when you see the babies and then, and then grow them on. Now they are air breathers. They do come up quite a bit. Uh, and normally it's the dad that takes care of them. So there'll be a big one in here somewhere. We've seen it a few times. Nothing for the camera. Nice shot, Lee. So we'll do a few more minutes and then um, we'll show you how much we've got at the end. We're both wearing short wellies. It's about an inch to spare before we get a tsunami over the top. But There's a little one there. Quite red when the their fingerlings. Then they'll go a darker brown later on. Okay. So we're about half an hour into it. Got more than a hundred now. Quite a few in the green bucket over there as well. But they're becoming quite spread out before they were quite um, closely shoaled together. But you still get a lucky shot. John, as with all the snakehead family, they're air breathers and they're great at jumping so you don't put too much water in there. So the idea is to keep these in a big bucket for a few days, feed them some raw egg, the egg yolk, get them to pack on some weight quickly and then we'll put them in the pond with the other bachon. If you put them in this sort of size of bachon but more they'll they'll eat a fair share of these. Okay, try and get a few more. Got it out. Just got back to the house, Toon's nipped out to the corner shop, just get a few bits and bobs for lunch and I've finished cleaning up the bachon. So I had to get all the little bits of vegetation out there and then transfer them from the yellow bucket into here and it's not too bad. I reckon we've got about 100 to 150 all looking healthy. I'm going to give it an hour or so, let them settle down, and then we'll give them a, a raw egg yolk. See if they take that. So, quite successful. Good fun as well. A bit daunting going in there with your water going over your wellies. and Might be leeches in there. There's definitely snakes. We've seen snakes in there. and Bits and bobs. Tim's and nephew saw the python today on Booby Island. So, we're going to have a snake hunting 
video attempt in the future. But yeah, that's good. Like I say, around here you just can't get the Pachon fingerlings in the market. There's loads of Pachon for sale for eating, uh, but you never ever see the, the babies. I know other regions in Thailand you can, but around here, no chance. So, a lot of people um, grow them this way. We'll see how we get on. If we could get them to sort of two inches long, or a little bit more, and then introduce them into the the Bichon pond with the others, then they should be able to fend for themselves all right. There's plenty of other baby fish, like Basil and Benin and things like that in there for the other Bichon and other carnivorous fish to, to feed on. So hopefully all will be good. The wild bachon in the pond as well that we introduced, they've actually started taking some pellet as well, so that will detract them from from eating the baby fry. Happy days! Just started my anti-puppy vegetable fence. Uh, different design that side, uh, they just walk straight through it. To be honest, they walk straight through this as well, but um, it's just more of a visual barrier as they approach it. You just shout at them and then they back off. That one I think they might be able to squeeze in. Uh, got a couple more runners to put on there, but looking good. Once a few more things are, are coming up that we've planted, we'll, we'll run through that with you. I think that'll do for today. The clouds are rolling in again. Almost time for our daily shower. Okay, thanks again for watching guys. And we'll see you soon. Ta-da for now.